Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. Oh, oops. I'm um, just thinking whether I. Huh. Anyway, this, today is my last day here in New York for quite a while. I'm going to you know, travel for a little bit all over the places. Uh, I'm trying to think whether I'm. Huh. Whether I'm, I think I'm going to be on a plane tomorrow. Or like for tomorrow's prom for a bit. Uh, probably like a couple. Of, I mean, like, still, yeah. I guess I'll be on the plane when this. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll I'll get it done. Yeah, but uh, it'll be probably late. Anyway, today's farm though is twenty two fifty one number thousand full boom. All right, so what is it? So you're giving zero index to the array for flowers, uh, and you. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Wow. All right, so <laughs> I took a nap a little bit. I don't know. I haven't been sleeping well lately. Let me know how. I feel like I'm just like. It's not, I don't know if it's allergies or congestion or something, but I mean, I don't know what it is, but I have some nasal congestion. I just haven't been sleeping well. Uh, life is tough, isn't it? But um, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so what we know? Flowers of eyes. You go to start eyes and eyes, or it's like a uh, uh, an interval or segment. Um, all right, inclusive. Okay. And then you have people of size n, and people of size the time. Num enter sub i is the number of flowers that are in full bloom when i person arrives. Okay. So there are a couple of ways you can think about this. I guess it's just saying like, oh, okay, let's see how many, right? And of course, the naive way would just be like, you know, do a for loop from start to finish for all of them and do like a counting away thing. Of course, that's going to be too slow. I mean, even just looking at this, this is 10 to the 9th, which is obviously going to be too slow. You can't do a counting on that. Uh, I mean, you can actually do, hmm. I guess you could actually do path compression if you really want. There's only uh, 5 times 10 to the 4th times 2. Uh, t plus uh, 5 times 10 to the 4th uh, thing. So that would be probably be okay if you're able to kind of, you know, do some path compression and then some counting sort type thing. Uh, and then just, yeah, just do it that way. Um, no, actually, it'll probably still be too slow, but it is an interesting way to think about it. I mean, I, I, I wasn't going to do it that way, but I, I think just, you know, sometimes it's fun to explore like different ways of doing it. But what I was going to say is that this is a way uh, for me anyway, you know, uh, uh, I don't mean it to say, suggest that, you know, I've, this is easier for me than anyone else, but just that, um, you know, this is the way that I usually do it, do these kind of things when I see these things, is that I think about it as uh, events, and then I could do a sweep line event, right? Um, there, there are definitely a number of ways of doing it as well, um, but the way that I, I figure out uh, the visualization, um, the visualization is going to be the sweep line and event. Basically, the two type of, or three type of events, right? Now, we have the beginning of flowers event, the end of a flowers event, and then the people event. And once you kind of sort those three out, then that should be good. Yeah. Uh, and you kind of have to just make sure that you, you do them in... Um, in a reasonable order but i think that should be okay so yeah so let's do that so then now um mm, i think recently i i mean i usually to be honest i in the past i usually write them out as like a defend list but i think i've been re rewriting these a little bit differently these days which is why i'm giving a little bit of a dot um just because um just because, uh, what was I? Say? Just because it's it, like, um, I think the way that I used to do it, it has some like order of president type defend thing that you have to think about, and it's, it it actually isn't that tricky per se. But I think for a little bit of overhead, uh, you can make the code and the understanding much clearer, which is by using uh, a defend map, a diction, a defend dictionary instead of a sorted defend list, right? Um, or a, a dictionary of list, and then you kind of sort it within kind of thing, right? And I think that makes it slightly easier. So, okay. So, what I mean by that, and we'll, we'll go over as I code, because I think, the, and I don't know if I explained the visualization part quite right, but there's three events as you, uh, this is a sweep line algorithm going from left to right. I don't know which way the camera goes, but for me, this is left, 
left to right. But yeah, going from left to right, then you can kind of count them. Uh, the beginning of a segment or beginning of flowers means that now you have an extra flower. The end of a flower means that you have one fewer flower. And the people event means that, well, you have to process the people in the, the answer. Uh, are they sorted? Are people of eyes sorted? I mean, it doesn't, doesn't seem like it. But I mean, that's fine either way. Oh, yeah. Um, this means more work. So this one, I think it's pretty okay. We just have to kind of... Um, <laughs> Yeah, just kind of, um, you know, figure out the time part. Yeah, so okay, so then now, uh, let's, say, let's just say I have events, is you go to uh, right, of a list. So then now I say for S, E, and flowers. Then now I could do events of S. We can um, append a, mm, how do I want to do it? Let's just say like a plus one or something like this, right? For the, the beginning. Um, and maybe like a type flower type, right? So maybe F for flower and F would just be a fake enum here. And then people is equal to one, right? So this is like the, on the delta on the F. And then we can also uh, do it on the N as well. Um, because because the, uh, the bound is inclusive, we want to be negative one on the one after it, right? So actually, we want this to be da -da 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 -da, and then f negative one. And then for people, we just go for um, index people and enumerate people. We have to keep track of the index because we want to return the answer in, the, in some sort of way uh, or like ordered way that they give it to you. So then defense of p, we append uh, maybe like a p for people, as I say. Uh, and then just the index of the person, and that should be okay, right? I think, yeah, that's all we need to know about a person anyway, just where they're at. I just like in life, anyway. For um, and then now we can do a sorted on defense.keys, right? So for um, you go, I just call it K for key, keys, uh, and then defense of K is going to be uh, the list that we care about, right? <clears throat> and here uh, we do want to sort this first yeah yeah I mean I think that, that doesn't change the complexity actually um, yeah uh, and then here and this sorting is kind of a little bit confusing but um, but it, in how it does it but now th this sorting will allow us to kind of do the f's first because f has a higher or lower number which is higher or uh, comes earlier and then p is just the people so then we pass this afterwards right so then now uh oh we have to keep track of just like current flowers uh we put zero and then now we go for do, 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 t for type and then uh i don't know uh, whatever. Uh, I don't know. D for whatever parameter. P for parameter. Okay, fine. Defense sub K, right? So uh, if T is equal to F, so it's the P flower type, then we can just update the current. Else, this is going to be the person type, and then we have an answer array, right? Times uh, P. Oh, this is the same P. So let's just say N of P, right? And yeah, else then answer of uh, the P, which is now the index, is just equal to current. And that's pretty much it, if I could, I think. Let's, uh, let's give it a spin, see if this is okay. Uh, looks okay. I think once you kind of have this idea down um, and making sure that you're not off by one in some way, which, you know, um, it should be maybe good. Let's see if I missed something silly. Yeah, it looks okay. 1289 day streak. Eh. A little bit on the slower side, but that's okay. I think you could probably, there are, uh, I mean, this is going to be n log n plus uh, p log p or something, or maybe mm, n plus p times log of n plus p, uh, because we sort everything together, right? Like, or f plus p, or however you want to say. Um, but, but yeah, because you sort all the defense together. Um, I think that probably you can do a little bit better with certain things, like uh, like if you kind of, yeah, there's just a lot of different ways you can maybe do it, um, but 
but I think uh, the c- complexity is going to be roughly the same. I like this idea for me anyway. It's just that um, there's a li- little bit of abstract. Uh, um, yeah, um, it's an abstraction. Nah, I guess it's more like a modularity thing, or just like being able to kind of divide your thought process into chunks instead of kind of like making sure everything is together in a way, right? Because then here we just have to think about okay. Uh, almost like this is the pre-processing type thing of like, okay, this is the input, this is it. And then after that, we can already make assume, uh, make an assumption that, you know, whatever we got from the event is what we think it is, then what we have to do is kind of get this right uh, versus like, you know, if you have to do it with diff- uh, a more complex loop invariant, you know, it's just easier to kind of make mistakes. But m- maybe not. Maybe it's just the way, you know, um, so certain people... Uh, have a, a fi- an infinity or maybe even just practice towards certain uh, uh, strategies and you know and I think the the sweep line one is one that very often there are alternate um, ways of kind of doing uh, uh, arriving the same thing but or same idea uh, or just solving the problem but you know these things are kind of weird <laughs> uh, that's all I have for this one let me know what you think uh, yeah stay good stay healthy to your mental health Uh, I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.